So I just got a box on my doorstep. Uh, let's check it out. Wonder what this is. Can't get this thing open, dude. They put tape on there and then you can't even... God, the inserts are so deep that you have to just rip the cardboard. What the hell? God, I want to get in here. I can't even do it. There we go. Nope. Oh my God. Or at least it was wrapped well and packaged well. By the way, this is from the D. Young Museum and Legion of Honor Museum. Museum in San Francisco, pretty cool. More tape, I gotta be careful here. Get that out of the way. Bubble wrap off. What could it be? Monet, the early years. 320 page book on Monet. It's an exhibition going on right now. It actually ends like in a week, so I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to go to it. Uh, it actually ends this week. So yeah, kind of sucks. I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to make it, so I ordered this book and a smaller book as well. Monet, the early years, a pictorial. You know, I, I really like Monet. It would have been cool to see some of his works, well, it still might be cool. I haven't decided if I'm gonna be able to make it or not yet. Just see, I gotta see how the work week goes this week. But uh, now I can just at least check out what I would have seen and read up on it. And I got a, my first big Monet book. I have a small Monet book that's like this big. It was like two bucks in a bookstore. You know, a little crappy bookstore. And it's just not the greatest book. So of course this one's gonna be on his early work. Which for me is gonna be interesting to see. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm interested in Monet. I'll probably get another book eventually on him if I find a, a good enough book, but I definitely wanna see what his early work and early years were about. And I always try to understand an artist's life because I'm living it right now. So I wanna see what these guys did, kind of see where Monet started out. And it's, it's very interesting. I know a lot of his earlier work it's not what you would think. It's not impressionistic. It's not the impressionistic style that you would know him for. And that's why I find it pretty interesting that a lot of, a lot of his early work is stuff that I've done before. Is, you know, just these landscapes. I've looked at a lot of, uh, a few of his scenes before and I've seen them in books that a lot of his shadows that he used, he would make all the shadows in the entire scene the same color, like a burnt umber or some kind of umber color. If you know Monet, that's not like Monet at all. That's not how he would paint. As you can see here, he did still lifes as well and all kinds of things. So this is a cool book. This was on sale actually. Hardback, nice book. I got it for like 35 bucks. It's normally like 50. And I have a smaller one here. This one was like 15 bucks, but I figured, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna give whatever I can for this exhibition. You've probably seen this one before, I'm laying these fish. That's a cool one. Cool little still life. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, just something me opening something. Uh, I know it may not have been that exciting, but hey, one of my first unboxing type of videos. Look forward to making more different types of videos in the future and hopefully talking about Monet a little bit more. I'm gonna read, dive into the book. We can talk about it a little bit later. Once I read up about it, I can discuss some things and, and tell you what it's all about. So anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, what's your favorite thing about Monet? What's your favorite painting from Monet? Do you like Monet? What do you think about the Impressionists? You know, let me know down below. What do you think about Monet, his style, you know, the Impressionist movement, the French Impressionist movement, and how do you think that impacts artists today? How do you think it truly impacts us as artists today. Anyway, just let me know your thoughts down below. Keep on painting, don't get discouraged. Take care of yourself, peace.